measure of dispersion so now we continue how to find range interquartile range variance standard deviation and the last part is pearson coefficient of skewness to find range for this group data so upper boundary of the last data minus lower boundary of the first class and then this interquartile range same as before q3 minus q1 third quartile minus with the first quartile for variance and standard deviation this is the formula for variance and then to find the standard deviation we just set the value of variance Example 4, find the range, variance and standard deviation. As usual, we have to display our data in the table. So, as we want to find the variance and then standard deviation, we should add up a column that fx square. So, to find the fx square, we have to squaring up the value of x first. So, let's say this one, the first class. So, our value of x is 2, so it becomes 4 and then multiply with 5. So, we will get 20. Next is 5 times, uh, 5, 5 square is 25 and then multiply with 3, so we will get 75. Here is 8 square is 64, multiply with 2, so we will get 128. So, please do until the, the last class. Then, the last line. So, now we will have summation of f, summation of fx, and then the last one is summation of fx square. To find the range, upper boundary of the last class minus with lower boundary for the first class. So, be careful here. The given here is the class interval. So, our upper boundary for the final class is 18.5 and then the lower boundary for the first class is 0 0.5. Then minus these two values, so we will get 18 for the range. Now, we want to find the variance. Just substitute all the values we are need. Example, summation of fx square so refer to our table so here is 2676 just substitute into the formula and then substitute summation of fx divide by the summation of fx which is 21 and then divide 20 so then calculate so x square is standard is variant so equals to 34.71 when we want to find the standard deviation, so the notation for standard deviation is S only. Set the value of variance, so we will get the value for standard deviation is 5.892. Example 5, find the mean interquartile range, variance, standard deviation and then interpret the standard deviation. So, this mark has been given to us is class boundary and then the number of students represent the small letter of F which is frequency. As usual, when we want to solve this question, try to make our own table. In this table, should have the column for fx square as we want to find the variance and then the standard deviation so again to find the fx square first we have to squaring up the value for x and then multiply with f so here 10 square is 100 multiply with 9 therefore we have here 900 same goes to another value we want to find the mean first. So, mean is summation of fx divided by summation of f. So, just substitute the value of summation fx and then the value for summation of f. 
Then calculate, you will get the value for mean. Now to find the interquartile range, we need to find the first quartile then the third quartile. Don't forget, before you find, substitute the value into the first quartile formula, please find the R observation first. So the, for the first quartile, the R observation must be 1 over 4 times with 120. So here is equals to 30th observation. And then find the class that we need to refer for the first quartile. So the 30th observation is inside the second class, inside the 38. So we will refer this class to find the first quartile. Same as to the third quartile, don't forget to find the R observation first. So R over 3 over 4 times 120. So equals to 90th observation. The 90th observation must be included into 106. So we will refer this class to find the third quartile. Then to find the interquartile range, the value for third quartile must be minus with the value for the first quartile. Then you should get this answer for the value for interquartile range. Now we want to find the variance. So it is, this is the formula for variance. So just substitute the summation of fx square equals to 372800 minus with summation of fx, so 6140, then square over 120, then divide by 119. So calculate, so we will get this value for our variance. So, to get the standard deviation, we have to set the value of variance, then we will get 22.20. Then we want, to, um, we want to interpret the standard deviation. As we can see here, the value of standard deviation is 22.20 is far from zero. That means the many data in this question are far from the mean. 